saxophone friends, TJ Spencer here with the Saxophone Workshop, and today we're going to talk about how to play in tune. I'm also going to give you a few examples here, and in this video we're, going, we're, we're specifically focusing on the intonation of the note. I'm going to talk about how we can bend it up and down. Now ultimately, you want to play with an open throat while you lower and raise the note to ensure that you are in tune. So there are two ways we can do this. You can lower the note and you can raise the note, all with your armature. And I like to refer to this as the chewing motion. So when you are uh, a young kid and you're told to chew with your mouth closed, right, you get your jaw moving up and down with your mouth closed. So when you play the saxophone and you put the mouthpiece in your mouth, you can also play it open and tight or closed. The three steps to playing in tune and being able to manipulate the intonation of each note is one, being able to lower the note or flatten it, and two, being able to sharpen the note or raise it, and then three, you just have to play in tune. Lowering the note or flattening the note. This is where you loosen the jaw. When you play the note, I'm gonna play a note here and I'm gonna loosen my jaw. my jaw, like, kind of like you're making a chewing motion. Now to raise the note, number two, to raise to note or sharpen it, you want to do the opposite. You want to chew, you want to tighten your mouth, and this will raise the note. And you can go back and forth. This is a technique that you're going to need to know and do on the fly. When you're playing in a band or an ensemble, you will be able to hear whether or not your group or your section is in tune, and you will need to, to adjust your, your embouchure, lowering the note or raising the note, making it sharp or making it flat, right? Tightening your jaw or loosening your jaw in order to make your section in tune. And this is a technique that you will have to know if you play in large ensembles and small ensembles. Now the final way that you can play in tune is to actually be in tune. I use an app on a phone called Metronome. You can see it here as I'm talking, it's actually picking up the, um, the note that I'm, I'm talking in. So it looks like I, I talk in a C sharp D, B, uh, uh, intonation. So on a saxophone, if you play the, uh, the tenor saxophone, play the note C and we're looking for a B flat on the tuner. That is how you can ensure that you play in tune if the needle is straight up. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but when you play you can make the needle move up or down, and that will determine whether you're sharp or flat. So in review, we've learned the three ways of how you can play in tune, uh, specifically talking about the intonation of each note. You can raise the note by, and play it sharp by tightening your jaw. You can lower the note and play it flat by loosening your jaw but it's most important that you tune your horn uh, to, to be flat or A440 to begin with. I've also created a practice log. If you would like to download it, I'll leave a link in the description. You can visit Amazon 
and purchase a copy. It helps you keep track of your practice sessions. And that's all for us today here at the Saxophone Workshop, where we teach saxophone and talk saxophone. We'll see you next time. Thank you.